Hello everyone, my name is Ivan, I'm 46 years old and I live in the Netherlands. In November 23, in Amsterdam I was diagnosed with aggressive B-cell lymphoma at stage 4. I'm currently undergoing ARCHOP chemotherapy. For the new year I decided to create my own channel to share useful information about this disease with all who are in interested. As I have come to understand, being informed is crucial in understanding how diagnosis and treatment will proceed. The methodology is roughly the same all over the world, so it's beneficial to understand it. I want to draw your attention to the fact that I am not a medical professional. I don't give any medical advice. I only share my personal experience and opinion. If you are dealing with this disease, my first and only advice is to immediately consult a hematologist. So, just over two months ago, specifically on October 31, 2023, a large tumor was found in the area of the head of the pancreas. The tumor measured 5 by 4 centimeters, which is a lot for, the, for that location. It's about this size. Three weeks later, the results of the endoscopic biopsy were obtained and then we learned that it's most likely diff diffuse B-cell lymphoma. I say likely because unfortunately even after the second biopsy we don't know for sure as Burkitt lymphoma is not ruled out in my case. In total I had eight punctures of the duodenum, but the collected material was still insufficient and other method methods to obtain material for research, in my case, were too risky. I have only one lymph node affected, but the stage is determined as false, again, due to the dangerous location. At the moment, I have started undergoing chemotherapy with the RCHOP regimen, and just a few days ago, I recovered from the first cycle. In a few days, I have already started to lose hair and obviously before the start of the second round, I will have to shave off this luxury hairstyle style. The strength is becoming less. Over the past two and a half months, I have lost almost 15% of weight. My usual weight was 84 kilo. Now I weigh 70 and continue to lose it. It seems that there is no fat left, muscle mass continues to decrease. When I was diagnosed with this disease, I knew nothing about it. I had to collect information from different sources, but it was especially useful to listen to people who had already been through it. This simplified my communication with doctors. They didn't have to waste time explaining the simplest things. Some ideas that I heard from other cancer survivors, I discussed with doctor and applied myself. It's possible that this helped to slow down the growth of the tumor while the diagnostic process was going on. Of course, it's one thing to talk about how you already successfully gone through it, another to talk about your path here and now, when the risks are very high. Therefore, of course, I'm counting on your moral support in running this channel. I have about a week before the next round of chemotherapy. In this week, I will try to release a few more videos with important topics. In the next video, I will tell you how I realized that something was wrong with me and started looking for the, for the reason. I want to dedicate a separate video to the diagnosis of lymphoma. Then let's talk about RCHOP chemotherapy and all its side effects. It would be good to discuss the psychological aspect and other eco equally important topics. I have no experience running a channel on YouTube but I am an IT specialist, so I think I will handle the tools, but don't judge too harshly. I'm ending this video. 
it's the perfect time to hit like don't miss the next one about how i discovered this disease in myself to do this subscribe hit the bell see you soon